Lance Stewart was I'm on Genius. Lost. Lan- I- dude, uh, Genius is really trolling us at this point. They have to be. They're like, okay, Lance Stewart made a song that everybody hated. Let's get him on Genius. Uh, here, just give me, let me give you a taste of this. Bro, we don't need an analysis of I'm Lost. You know what I mean? Dude, this is deep it's shit. Not easy. <laughs> it's not easy. Also, his cross is super weird. Get a load of his cross. It looks like it's dripping blood or some shit, or boogers. Like, why so gruesome, dog? Isn't it dripping blood or something? It seems, yeah, or it's melting, maybe? Something going on I there. I don't get the imagery either way. It's a melting little gruesome, like his heart, bro. dude. Dude, he's, he's wounded right now. Go easy he's on, lost. On, on young Lance here. <laughs> it's not easy. I don't remember who, who had this bit. Maybe it was, like, Eddie Izzard, but he had such a great bit about... He's like, if Jesus came back, do you really think he would want to see a crucifix everywhere? <laughs> like, that's how he died. That's how he was tortured to death. It's like, of all the things, do you really think he would want to see a crucifix everywhere? That's like John Lennon coming back and like... Man, whatever. I'm not... I hate retelling jokes. Why do I do this to myself? God. Go watch Eddie Izzard. Yeah. After this podcast. Thank you. Go watch it. But anyway, here's the real deal or words of like how I've been feeling lately. Get your notebooks out. I'm lost. I'm found. Too many visions around this place of you and me. Everywhere you I go. You don't need remi- to explain <laughs> the lyrics. You know? I'm walking down the street. Well, so this lyric means I was, uh, I was on the street using my legs to walk. And uh, there was a street and I was walking. And uh, I was going from one place to another. So, is that good? It's like, what the hell are we doing here? Reminds me of my ex-girlfriend. I mean, for example, we used to live in the same house together. I still currently live in that house. So every single day, I I just get like flashbacks in my head of like, you know, I'll be in the kitchen and it reminds me of cooking in the kitchen. It definitely makes it harder to be in my house. I've, I've felt very like, negative energy over the past couple months just being there because you know these memories I'm trying to get these memories out of my head and move on but it's super hard just being in the same spot where all those memories yes. began see your silhouette inside my king size Chase. heavy lies the crown without the queen bro okay let me anal- <laughs> analyze these <Yikes>. lyrics <laughs> your king size bed what a pimp by the way um, heavy lies the crown without the queen. Oh, man. Poetic. It's like Shakespeare. Bro, what are you, you think you're a king with a crown? You think you're the king? Cheers! <laughs> what is Lance Stewart the, the fucking... Queen. Heavy lies is more so relating towards, um, you know, being in my bed and seeing her silhouette and, like, I, I just feel like Wait, a weight of no. Fr- it no, says what? heavy lies the crown, dumbass. <laughs> do you even, do you not even know what it? <laughs> heavy lies. Oh, he doesn't even understand the expression. Heavy lies, and then does he think it's heavy lies the crown? Yeah, heavy yeah, lies the crown is the to phrase. Do with the bed. Did he write these lyrics? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> heavy lies is more so relating towards, um, you know, being in my bed and seeing no, your silhouette. No, it's about the crown. Like, I, I just feel like a weight of pressure on me every time I'm in my bed and I'm not seeing her there. And the lyric, the crown without the queen, is just me feeling like, you know, I, I once had my queen and now I don't have a queen anymore. So it's it's just a weird feeling being in bed all the time and, and not having a significant other. I'm lost, I'm lost, I'm found. I'm lost, I'm found. Don't explain this. Don't you fucking dare explain this. Don't you dare break this down. The feeling of being lost. No. (laughs) It's a whirlwind of emotions because some days I feel like I'm fine. There was three words. But some days I just, you know, just completely go back down and feeling like crap. Depressed every day, not really know what you're doing, not really know where you're going in life. Just not understanding how to get out of that feeling. Too much on my mind, yeah. Lost wait, 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 wait. He's doing his own backup vocals while he's... I mean, you don't have to do the backup vocals, dude. Oh, man, this is too good. You get out of that feeling. Too much on my mind, yeah. Mm. Lost the side of my head. Ooh. How'd it go so left when me and you's the right fit? I oh, honestly shit. felt like we were good for each other, but we weren't at the same time. For example, oh, I know fuck. every couple argues... 
Um, we, you know, we argued a little bit too much. As much as we wanted to make it work, we just knew it couldn't. Had you in my palms, now you're gone. I lost my grip. I had you, you had me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Back it up. Come on. Wait, I gotta hear the had you, you had me. I had you, you had me. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> no auto tune. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Sorry, Lance. I know you got this. You got this bleeding cross and everything. I'm not trying to fuck your shit up, but let me hear that one more time. I had you. You had me. <laughs> the love's gone. It can't leave me. <laughs> You'll complete me. Broken heart. Come fix my pieces. Keep it going, since baby. you left, it hasn't been the same. No, no. What has felt different for me since the break? By the way, Lance. Oh, fucking Lance claimed all of our shit. <laughs> Studio seventy one. Yeah. Studio seventy one is one of these MCNs that is absolute. Probably one of the full of the worst people. Uh, the worst people. I mean, they used to be. Yeah, this was the one we uh, creative. What was yeah. it? Uh, what was their? What, how were they the previously known as? Thing. I'll, I'll look it up. Uh, creative something, but they're, man, they, and they've been sitting on it, like, I think they're intentionally just sitting on it so that they can, what they do, they're doing spitefully, is they'll claim it, I dispute it, but in that time they can turn off all the ads, and then in 30 days they'll probably just, collective digital studios, they changed their name to Studio 71 because they had gotten so much bad publicity for being a predatory, shitty, MCN they rebranded themselves as studio 71 and They claimed our entire podcast and they turned off all the ads Why would they do that unless they planned on dropping the claim and just oh Right letting it come back and but but I don't earn any money at all right if they turn off, There's no reason to turn off the ads other than because if they thought they were gonna win the claim They would keep the ads on and make the money right so they they've done Wow, that's so scummy. Yeah, no, they're the worst. Oh, and I know there's people there that hate me because of we used to be with them and they totally fucked us over. Right, right, right. They totally fucked us over. They are the worst MCN by far. And I totally don't put it past them to do something that sleazy. So Yeah, shit. I mean what why why else turn off the ads other than yeah. to fuck with you? If there's you really care no if you motivation. care, then then block it worldwide, you know, or or do or do a DMCA. Right. So, and, like, we had a bunch of other claims on that episode, and they've all been dropped since then. They were, all these people were kind enough to release the claim when I disputed it. But these guys have been sitting on it now for, like, two weeks, turned all the ads off, and are not responding. So what will happen is after 30 days of them not responding, it will get released, and then, the, and then I'll get the ads back turned on. Usually they'll keep the ads on and monetize it, and then it will go into an escrow escrow account and I'll get that when I win the dispute but they have the ability to turn off the ads when they claim it and so they basically just fucked me because they're like if we can't earn money then I think they're just doing it spitefully honestly it's hard to not interpret it that way because again I mean what motivation could they possibly have to not well there's the ads there's somebody in that company that that um they got it out for you I think so I really do because we embarrassed them S several years ago when all this shit went down with them They I'll tell you dude. These guys are the worst man. They made Ela cry like seriously. It was that bad This was when we had first moved back from Israel. Yeah, you mentioned this on the pod uh, a couple weeks. Ago. I had yeah There's a dude named Brian there who specifically was our <coughs> the guy who got us to sign up and he goes well, there was this really important thing called man uh, uh, It doesn't really exist anymore, but it was called a managed channel and what it did is it let you bypass the copyright system um, so that you wouldn't get automatically claimed they got rid of that so nobody has that access anymore but they said absolutely you'll have that no problem no not an issue this was a long time ago this was standard shit a lot of people had this and when we joined up they didn't put us in managed and they refused to put us in managed and we're like okay well Clearly, this is a misunderstanding, so just, you know, release us from the contract, and we'll go our separate ways. And they freaking refused. They flat out said, they said, no, you signed the contract, you have to stay with our MCN now. 
And this was before, like, now YouTube has done more to prevent this kind of predatory behavior. Like, you can disconnect yourself now. But before, you could not disconnect. Only they could disconnect you. And they would, and then Elo's like, why are you doing this? She actually starts crying. She's so upset. Like, why are you doing this to us? There's, there's no reason for this. Oh, my, did my computer turn off? I think my computer turned off. Uh-oh. Does that matter for the audio? Or? No. Just keep going. I'll, I'll work on it. Um, that was weird. Hey, where's the power button on this thing? Oh, I think I got it. And so, oh, there you go. It just slept. It went to sleep. Maybe I accidentally pushed the sleep button. So, um, I said, Elis crying. She said, why are you doing this? Just, we clearly don't want to be in this relationship. Just, just, you know, release us and we'll sep- go our separate ways. And they said to her, like, it's time for you. I swear to God, this guy said this to her. It's time for you to grow up. You signed a contract and now you have to live with it. It's time for you to start acting like an adult. And I was like, bitch, you did not fucking go there with us. And I, and I went and I put these fuck, this was during the time when like prank invasion did a DMCA on us and we did this whole video about full screen and, and, and we felt like our MCM was supposed to be on our side and they were telling us to erase the video and erase our tweets and shit. And I was like, what, who the fuck are these guys? So I go to Twitter and I'm like, Hey, by the way, uh, uh, collective digital studios is, is fucking conning us and, and you know keeping us in a contract we don't want to be in and just whatever talking about it and then these stupid pussies these cocksuckers they uh, once i start bitching about them on twitter guess what they do immediately release us and they get to try to get us to sign some documents saying that we won't disparage them i was like fuck you not <laughs> signing shit fuck you suck my dick and drop and and let me out and they did and i found out later that uh, that guy brian who was working with other people I knew, was telling people, his other members of the MCN, not to work with me because I was toxic and uh, trouble. He was telling them not to work with me. That's wild. Trying to blacklist you. Who, by the way, get a grip. You don't have it. This isn't Hollywood, bitch. You're fucking MCN. The only thing you can blacklist is yourself. You had to change your own name, remember? Idiots. Right. Studio 71. You can't fucking run away from the fact that you're ass. Yeah. I remember who you are, Studio 71, cocksuckers. So here they are, up to the same shit, and it may well be the same fucking guy who's behind it. So, Brian, if you're listening, suck my dick. <laughs> I still remember. <laughs> fuck you, and fuck your MCN. And you're becoming irrelevant. Nobody even needs MCNs anymore, so suck my huge, huge swollen nuts. All right? Fuck you, dude. So I think that's what it is. They're just spitefully um, trying to fuck me over. <laughs> So, fine, dude. That's how you want to play it? I'll get it back in about two weeks. And even though you stole thousands of dollars from me, you had to change, you had to rebrand your company because you were so ass. And I'm sure that costs more than that. So, eat shit. Fuck you. And, uh, I don't need to talk shit behind your back. I'll tell everyone right now, don't work with Studio 71. Come on! Who you kidding, huh? Get a slam on them with the regular schmegula. But I can't get over Lance's necklace. Why is it oozing? Yeah. Oh, you can't see on the screen. Here. Why are we oozing here, folks? I think it's supposed to be like the blood. Of That's cr- so graphic. Yeah. I mean, come on, guys. This this is not what are we doing here? Why is Christianity come to this point where we need like a blood stained cross? Is that really appropriate? Like, why do we remember Jesus for for the moment where he was tortured and bled to death on the cross? Are we not meant to appreciate his moment, like the goodness that we're supposed to celebrate the good things he done, not a blood stained cross? I mean, how is this the the image that we've come to embrace? It just seems ridiculous. Well, the the blood is a uh, it's a bit extra as as I've never say, seen but, that um, before. Yeah, I've never seen. But even the cross, like the cross. We think of Jesus, but what the cross really is, people were frequently crucified in Rome. That was a way of putting people to death. It was a horrible, torturous thing to do. Um, yeah, it'd be weird if we it's all like putting a guillotine on. It's like putting a guillotine on a necklace. Yeah, no, I feel you like know. That. It's like putting a fucking a noose. You know, a hang a hangman's. It, 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 it's just, come on, guys, let's find a better image. <laughs> Why the fuck we all walk around with crosses here? I mean, I'm not going to 
claim to be an expert on Christianity at all, but um, you know, him him dying on the cross it was was a sacrifice for for humanity, and so you know, there it, I think the explanation would be that you're honoring that sacrifice. Um, but like you said, I mean, let's honor the man's life, though. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Why are we obsessed it's like with why why the why the method of death specifically but, became the symbol is. Uh, it's just so gruesome. Like, I'm not going to walk around with a guillotine on my fucking <laughs> necklace. It's the same thing, really. What if it had a diamond on it? Though? Yes, I would wear it. Hell yeah. Blood, uh, ruby encrusted blood trips. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Cheers to that. Anyway, Lance is fucking... God bless him. Lance, if you hear this, please talk to your studio and release the claim. And if Brian's is your rep, tell him I said fuck him. Tell him I said fuck that idiot.